You're in architecture school. The teacher wants to see your project, but not like the usual. No crappy sketch allowed. The teacher wants a 3D model. So you just ask around which software to use. People will tell you SketchUp because it's easy and fast. Well, it could be and could give you a decent outcome. But in my opinion, learning SketchUp is a waste of time. You should instead learn 3ds Max. Why? Well, here's the top 5 reasons why you should learn 3ds Max as a student. Just do it! Number 1. Modeling capabilities. Modeling with SketchUp can be fast, but if you need to model specific forms, especially curves and organic architecture, it is not. SketchUp needs a lot of third-party extensions and still cannot be compared to the modeling capabilities of 3ds Max. In fact, 3ds Max has a shitload of modifiers that when mastered would give you any form you need and with less third-party intervention. Even with the selection tools, it's much easier in 3ds Max. In addition to that, sculpting can be done in 3ds Max even if it's not its main purpose, while in SketchUp it's not feasible. Number 2. Rendering While 3ds Max comes with a decent integrated rendering engine, Arnold, SketchUp needs an external rendering engine to be installed. But for the sake of the argument, let's suppose we have V-Ray installed on both SketchUp and 3ds Max. While you can get similar results with both, 3ds Max have better optimization and better in-engine rendering. Also, V-Ray for 3ds Max has the Slate Material Editor, which is scary at first impression, I'm not gonna lie, but it's very easy when you're used to it and uh, opens endless possibilities of material blending and color correction and other stuff which are not available in SketchUp's compact edit. Sure, you can always layer stuff on top of each other uh, with opacity maps, but I don't think it's as efficient as 3ds Max once you get used to it. Number 3. 3D models. When it comes to 3D models for your scene, you'll find a much bigger library for 3ds Max than SketchUp. Mainly, almost every 3D model is optimized to 3ds Max and V-Ray, but few are for SketchUp. Sure, you can get free models from SketchUp Warehouse, but there is also free models on websites like TurboSquid and with better quality. But in comparison, even the paid models of SketchUp cannot compete with the paid models of 3ds Max such as Evermotion. Number 4 Forest Pack. We can all agree that the best scattering extension with all the needed optimizations is Forest Pack. Forest Pack is only available in 3ds Max. There is the scatter alternative for SketchUp, but it's not even close to the possibilities that Forest Pack offers. With the integrated presets, you can go and make the easiest, fastest, most realistic grass. Also, you can use Megascans models and scatter them for a bigger variety of assets. You can also make your uh, own libraries and fill them up with furniture and people. This extension can be used to put furniture in your model faster than uh, importing them one by one. In conclusion, I love Forest Pack and it's maybe the top reason of why I switched from SketchUp to 3ds Max. And this is a little preview of the libraries I set up on my desktop for Forest Pack. Number 5. The job market. When you apply for a job, especially when the employer needs someone for Archviz, Almost all the time the prerequisite is 3ds Max and V-Ray or Corona. You can always find some firms that use SketchUp and Lumion, but most of the time they require someone with good 3ds Max and V-Ray skills for the Archviz. 
Also, big firms are interested in 3D animation, which could be done by Lumion faster, but with 3ds Max and V-Ray and the right setup, it would give for a far more appealing animation. So in conclusion guys, don't think about the easiest way or the fastest way, think about the best way. And in my opinion, 3ds Max is the best way. I'm willing to accept all the hate in the comments, because maybe I'm wrong, but as far as I know, I think it's much much better to learn 3ds Max over SketchUp. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.